Good evening, ladies and gents. This is to Nerds Human, and welcome back to our Medieval 2 American Rebels campaign. And you join us outside Campec, where the Spanish forces have really laid siege upon us. Now, quite literally, to be honest, because we've got Augusto Tesson and Viceroy Pedro along to take us down. We do have our best general here. Manic, of course, used to be in the Mayan forces, beat us a few times in battle. He's now brutally scarred and indeed has himself quite a bit of morale boost to go with it. And I think we'll be needing that here today because whilst this army is perfectly fine, it's uh, perhaps not enough to take on a big pile of conquistadors. But it is uh, it is bolstered by a fair amount of native warriors, although the culverine could prove problematic yet. Those guys just keep shooting on forever and ever. Now, the reinforcements. The reinforcements are really the big danger here. Lots and lots of troops, but no siege equipment, no cannons. They're going to have to stroll around the city. We, uh, yeah, we'll have to see where they begin, but we might have to pick them off if they have to wander around and join up with the main force. Now, not convinced we're going to win this one, but uh, we'll see what damage we can do. We've got reinforcements coming in, and if we can hold them off in uh, this castle, well, castle, this city over here, then I think that's our best way of dealing damage to the Spanish. We dealt with the French already. This is a big one, though. Let's head in. Let's take them down. As you might well expect, they are being sensible enough to actually shoot down the walls with their cannon, and they haven't immediately rushed through the first hole either. They're going to blow a load of holes in the wall and presumably wait for their reinforcements. And yeah, that next bit along the wall I've already vacated is now being shot down. I do, however, I do, however, have the reinforcements coming in in this direction. They're just passing by my beautiful little stone sculpture here. Isn't that just marvellous? And yeah, if I can get some of these towers activated, we might be able to do some nice damage. That would be just marvellous, wouldn't it? Yes. So I've got some archers over here to do just that job. The rest of my archers are gathering here. This might be a nice side swipe at a later point, but we'll have to see what opportunities come along. Well, I can finally see these guys starting to run, which they maybe should have been doing earlier, but I'm not complaining. It does look awfully like at this point, though, they are running for this little entrance here. So I think it's time to start running in my Jaguar Warriors. Jaguars, get yourself in. There's another three back there. Run forward. We're going to start taking these guys on. That would be marvellous. Down goes the wall. Please don't run in front of that as it collapses, lads. That would have been great. I don't think they managed to kill themselves. That's fine. Right, get yourselves into position. Start taking these guys on. Hopefully, we've got ourselves a bit of a pincer here. And we certainly have plenty, plenty of archers up the top there to do the dirty, dirty work. Looks like there's an awful lot of them, though. So I should probably get those three generals into this little battle as well. That would be marvellous. Now, these guys can absolutely drown the missiles if that's what I want to do. Yeah, I very much would like to be doing that, yes. Um, these archers, though, probably need to run over in this direction at this point. Can you make sure you throw at this general as he goes past? Thank you very much. That'd be lovely. Take out the general is probably the best situation we have. How many are we losing to these guys? We do have them fairly well dominated. So I think we're okay. What happened over here? Eight conquistadors are just run straight to the plaza. Can we just, um, eagles? Do you want to just take them out? That'd be grand. Thank you, lads. That's why we've got them in reserve. Lovely stuff. They are now routing. That's what we want to see. Get on top of these guys as well. Conquistadors are being taken out, which is what we really, really needed early on in this battle. Are the main forces coming in yet? Not yet. They're uh, standing round. Um, okay, we'll have to worry about that one in time. Archers, a big pile of archers up here. Hopefully going to do some brutal, brutal work. Don't really care about them. Take care of the conquistadors. In fact, take care of the general. He's very soon making it around the corner. We're now in range of that general. We need to be shooting him down nice and early on. Thank you very, very much. Point militia can just be charged into. We have some javelins over here. That's absolutely marvellous. They've broken. That's what we want to see. And let's just hit the next unit as well. Crossbows over there. Why are you running out of the city? To be honest, that's not the worst idea in the world. We'll give them a bit of a pincer movement. Lovely stuff. Yes. Conquistador, you will die, my good sir. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yes, and uh, indeed, hopefully, they will die. Um, How's the general doing? He's lost two men. Well, that's good. <laughs> we're doing something anyway. We are doing something. It looks like we're going to be overrun over there. So, probably time. 
Probably time we send in the next round of men. The Sword of Buckler men are pretty darn solid. And I think we now need to send the bulk of men into this little gap. We really want the fight to be right here so our archers can be shooting him. So this is about what I want to see. I don't think we're going to get many breaks from our side, but we are getting breaks from their side. That's good. That is very, very, very good indeed. Okay, in that case, in that case, let's just get these generals to just back up. Oh, they're moving. They're moving. Right, let's just move these guys back a little bit. I'm just a tiny bit concerned about all of this. Um, so those conquistadors flee in the end. They did indeed. That gives us just enough opportunity. Okay, these archers, I think, are going to be needed over here. Archers, you've run into that position. That would be grand. Eager warriors, I think, are going to be needed over here. Uh, where's their general? There he is, 27. That's not as low as I'd like him to be. You get yourselves back. You were fine where you were. Just stand still. Just invite them into this gap. That's where we want them to fight. Just inside the walls where we can uh, cut them down with our arrows. Marvellous stuff, 27. Come on, the, the general's right near the front at this point. Jaguars, get out of there. Listen to my darn instructions. Like being back with my class at school. Right, general is retreating. That's not what I was expecting. What are they doing? They're finally coming back in, and instantly those musketeers are around here. Those conquistadors can just get charged down, charge into them. That general's getting shot, which works for me. Let's kill those two generals, and I'll be a happy, happy chappy. Um, this is an interesting one. I thought they would pile in, but they're just hanging around right now. I think they're finally, finally coming in, although I'm pretty sure they just ran straight into cannon shot over there. That's not particularly clever. Okay, um, we're going to need to... Yeah, we're really going to need to get on top of these conquistadors. Uh, get ready, get ready, get ready. Charge! And get one of the generals. In fact, get two of those generals. Get those two generals into the rear there. They are really piling in now, and... That's interesting, their generals at the back. They need to kill the generals. Uh, that's the only chance of routing them, really. But they're piling in in one big go here. But this general, this general is right in front of me. Okay, all of you, all of you on that general. We can take him out. That might well route the reinforcement army. And that would very, very much put me in a position where I am happy about life. Uh, where is the other general, though? That's the question. I can't see him right now. He's at this little entrance over here. Can you just try and hold? I don't think you're going to do a very good job of it, but just try and hold that position. Our archers should, should, should do some good work laying some lovely, lovely fire on these chaps. Um, the, the balance of power has actually gone in our favour so far, but I'm not sure that's going to last for too much longer. This general, 16. Get on him, get on him, get on that lad. In fact, you were on guard, weren't you? But get on top of that general. You chaps, shoot. I don't know what unit I was just on there, but someone needs to be dealing with that little lad over there. And over here, this general, we're, all, we're well on top of this guy. Well on top of him. Although there are, there are some native warriors up there who aren't the biggest concern in the world. We can probably take them out. Okay, this is going okay. It's going surprisingly well. 27%, 48%. We're chunking them down. Let's get well into this action. There he goes. Good timing, my good sir. Okay, with him down, all archers need to now concern themselves with this lad over here. Pretty certain we just saw this guy go down. He's down to six anyway, so he's largely gone. Just start piling forward. That's good. This guy might be harder to kill because we just don't have as much over here, but 15 uh, the mighty tree of victory, yes, the great tree of victory indeed, but I do need to take out this general and he's starting to walk through all of my men. Get on top of him. They're piling out. <laughs> We've actually broken them over there. That is magnificent. That's perfect. We just need to pile all of our men onto that general. Uh, hopefully, I'm not chasing these guys out of the city, but the towers will continue to do some filthy, filthy work. And there he goes. Down goes Pedro. That might not have been Pedro. Pedro might have been the one. No, that was Pedro. Have it, Pedro. Yes, and with that, he is clearing right off. Have we won? Have we just won? We've nearly won, you know. I did say we weren't going to chase them out, but... But, 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 if they are, they're largely gone. Native wise, the only one's not breaking. Oh, no, no, someone just fell off. Did he survive? He survived for a moment. If anyone else saw that, that was rather glorious. Okay, we're going to try and chase these out because they are breaking. Are they coming back? I think they're starting to come back. Weirdly, most of the units who are still in this battle are actually their native warriors who obviously are just kind of 
trash fodder, essentially. Look, they're just breaking them. <laughs> Engage with us. Manic, you absolute mentalist genius. Oh, you glorious, glorious sir. This is two battles and two victories against the Spanish Aldo. Um, I do think there was quite an early battle where we got slaughtered, but let's ignore that one now, shall we? Um, what's left? I don't know what's left. We've just about done it. The cannon needs to go down, I suppose. Kill the Culverine. My good sir, my good general, it's time to take out the Culverine. Did terrify us slightly, but there we are. Yeah, taking out the generals. Good, good plan. That, that has served us well. Um, I feel like the game's a little bit jittery right now, and I don't know if it's because we're attacking the Culverine, but we have to check, fiddle with my settings a bit later. But anyway, this is a glorious, glorious victory. Chase them down, but we're never going to catch them all. I don't know who's still fighting, but I pretty much call this a victory now. Hilariously, the last unit is actually fighting properly at their gate. What brave, brave, brave fools they are. They got charged by a bodyguard, my good sir. Thank you. I actually need to take these guys out because I finally learned that these are charging units. They've intercepted like two men. And more men run out of the gate. That's marvellous. The two generals are here to take him out. And when I say two generals, I mean literally every unit on this earth. A few units have decided to come back and fight. These are now the sort of buckler men who are bothering but um, yeah, the day is as good as done. If ever there was a heroic victory, oh manic, this is the day of one heroic victory there. I didn't think we'd, um, I thought if we would win that, it would be some spectacular like last stand, you know, super tight, only a few men surviving. But no, we have 800 men left after that battle. Utter glory. Spe Speaker gone! <laughs> Wait, what? What? Okay, so a load of... I thought these were my generals and I just didn't realise they died. But no, these are all the Spanish generals. Right. Well, we just killed two. And are the rest all generals then rather than family members? I don't know. But I guess we just killed the only two who mattered because the Spanish are gone. <laughs> oh dear, they had a lot of settlements. They had, and we got some crossbow militia. Interesting, I didn't think we could actually get any European troops, but that's um, that's all we get. But although, yeah, a couple generals. So yeah, these are generals, not uh, family members. Okay, well, yes, interesting. I was a bit confused there, but um, New Spain. New Spain had gone, ladies and gents. Well, that is, that's a surprise. <laughs> Ruddy Laura. I mean, what a hell of a victory for Manic there, but he's taken up the whole Ruddy faction. Now that, that ladies and gentlemen might just be the winning play right there. Manic, true to his name and um, good at the walls. That is, that is something uh, of an understatement. Well, this guy, this guy dealt us some hefty blows early on. I have to go back and watch those battles. But um, Spain are gone. Spain are gone, ladies and gents. Now, actually, that means we've got, we've got Cuba, haven't we? Yay, we've got Havana. Isn't that glorious? We have us as a port. And I did actually mod this, by the way, so that I could build myself some pirate ships and war galleys. I was going to introduce that this episode. In the end, um, yeah, it's kind of come prematurely. The idea the idea was that I'd made it so that uh, the rebels could have boats, but um, we'd have to capture a Spanish port to do so. So uh, Veracruz, for example, or uh, this place. Um, yeah, we could capture one of their ports and then we'd be able to build a ship. But uh, no, no, as it happens, we've just inherited a huge pile of Spanish troops, cities, and um, there's a lot of spoils over here. There's even, you're new, yeah, <laughs> you're a Sp there's a Spanish lad just hiding around in the forest here. We can build a watchtower now you're at it. Now the French are around somewhere, so we might as well know when they're coming. Can't see them, they're somewhere around the river here still, but they're what floating around. We've got ourselves largely a full stack at this point, so continue to send them over there and we know we can hold off the French so that is very very good news indeed there's also that army which was annoying me last time that these guys were plagued but yes five units poxy units with plague ah oh, those are the days when I was worried about that okay okay let's assess what's just come over to our side here um it looks like <laughs> two I'm very unfortunate the position chaps here um okay so the the uh, yeah the the Thlaxcannon, always going to mispronounce this. I'm afraid. I'm going to try my best. Uh, the the Thlaxcannon are indeed besieging the uh, Tehuacan, but um, I doubt they'll succeed. 
they're, they're doing okay. They're, they're alive, and that's pretty much all you can ask of them at this point. Veracruz is looking okay. We've got a couple generals there. They can go and sit in the town. I probably should have built a watchtower with them before I did that, but hey-ho. On the note of watchtowers, yeah, so any more generals, I will have to do that. Um, the Aztecs, of course, yes, we did. Um, we had started to lose territory to them in this direction. That army was very badly battered when we took on that town, so I'm hoping we can do something about that. Maybe, oh, for Pete's sake. Yes, yeah, so you go through there, that'll be absolutely fine. And those lands, you can just go hide in the mountains. Fine, well, 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 well. I thought it was going to be a long, long slug against Spain, but we got ourselves a lucky, lucky murder there. And with that, I think, yeah, I think we can just start to move all of our men forward at this point. You don't need to be in that town at all, do you? No, you do not. So you can move over to t -Cow just in case the sneaky Aztec turns up. So... What's our plan of action then? Well, first of all, yeah, first of all, take back Kuligua and work our way through these little settlements. Because at this point, there's just a few little Aztec towns here or there that we can pick off in this part of the world. Get all of our troops together. And obviously this army, this army is pretty much in, well, the wall's battered, but pretty much in pretty good condition. We can take them on pretty darn soon. A few worthless peasant units around here but they can just act as garrisons and border towns just to stop me strolling their way in and of course we have ourselves all of our really solid armies who are pretty much on their way over here anyway so oh dear oh dear um are we coming to the end game not quite yet we've still got to smash our way through the aztecs but we were we're making good progress on that game um so far weren't we and the french we know we can hold them off but there is more going to be appearing in the near future these lads were yeah just floating around before we get all the reinforcements in indeed i think we were sending generals over here but i think there's a lot for me to try and remember where i was um there's a lot of lot not a lot a lot of new things to take in so i'm going to get reacquainted with the map and all of the uh new spanish nonsense that i've gained under my control um suffice to say i'm looking very very powerful now interestingly there is a little aztec army trying to block our way over to kurigua but uh yes it looks like we are very much in the way which is convenient for us don't know i was gonna say I don't know if they can get there still it looks like they can so unfortunately we might have to head in this turn but that might just given us the troops we need to head into the town so we'll get on with that at some point luckily those couple lads over here in the middle of the hellstorm managed to escape no one bothered attacking them as for Tulan over here well we've got our two old brothers I think these are both the same lads from um, from the Apache I think they are either way these two chaps here are joining together to take on these lads and I suspect oh yeah we got the reinforcements as well how marvellous do they want to do it? They want to do it, the mad fools. I love it. That's marvellous news. Um, bit of a random force, this one. This is more of a garrison force, really, to sit in after the event. Yeah, I did send an army down here to uh, sneak their way in. Turns out there's a full stack. So I'll let them wander off to the next town if that's what they want to do. Maybe we'll be able to pick them off. The Frenchies have now appeared again. I can spot them on the horizon. I suspect it's time. Hmm. Okay, 15. An extra 15 probably won't make a big difference, but we just uh, have to defend with what we can over there. And over here, oh, lovely. We've got ourselves pretty much a full stack at this point. So I think that, yeah, we'll send the general back in there. You can actually go and reinforce, um, yeah, the south of Florida. That's just marvellous. And in case you're wondering, none of this is deep ocean. It's all shallow ocean. So even if you just have yourself a sort of a war galley or indeed the pirate ships, you can go wherever you like, which is absolutely marvellous. I didn't inherit any of their ships, sadly. That's a little bit of a shame. Just sending these lads down here just to make sure that when the English turn up, I spot them. Pretty soon they turn up around down Nicaragua away, but... Um, I can't record exactly the spot, but uh, it's somewhere in that direction. So we'll just leave those two. Used to be scouting for Spanish boats to go and do that. Of course, we have ourselves tons and tons and tons and tons of generals over this part of the world. 
probably don't need them all. That was a bit random. Uh, probably don't need them all right this second to be uh, piling in on the army like that. I'm not sure that's the best way of building my army, but at the very least, we'll send our lads off in this direction. Manic obviously will be heading off over there as well. And we've got ourselves a few more retrained troops who might well probably will just blend those two. That's annoying. We didn't get the experience. Um, we lost all the experience there for a moment. Sadly, no, it's less abusable than in Rome Total War, sadly. But hey ho. Okay, lots and lots of troops coming in. We are still very much destroying our economy. Probably because we've got constant troops being piled out to deal with a potential French assault in the future. But we did the Mississippi covered by what is now essentially a couple full stacks. Because there's the second over there with Captain Ock. We have ourselves the good old general over here. He's laid a couple of watchtowers on the way. As with this chap who uh, yeah, stopped to launch a little watchtower. Which I wanted to do to prevent the Spanish who do land here quite a lot. But um, yes, the Spanish are very much on my side now. I uh, have picked up a couple generals along the way who were floating around in this part of the world. We'll just send everyone running off over here, please. Yes, big pile of eagle warriors from when I used to have money. Isn't that just marvellous? Pulpo is retrained. Oh, yes, it has retrained many and many of those troops. In fact, I could probably grab a huge, huge pile of these because, to be honest... Yeah, I don't think we're going to need to be defending this anytime soon. We'll send you over there. Zakapu has a few more troops. They probably need retraining, but we have no more money. But that's fine, because we have plenty of these archers who can bolster our numbers and maybe just head off in that direction down with this lad. Yeah, you go with them, and they can just go and deal with that in time. Lots and lots of archers. Bit of an old school army from when I used to think that might well work. It doesn't, but hey-ho. We'll do what we can, I suppose. Right, I think at this point, yeah, just gathering our men in positions here. If I can lay down a watchtower to send a unit out to scout, that's probably for the better, as to spear for There we are, three crossbowmen. Um, can we gain some experience? Yes, we can. Okay, that's probably for the best. Let's use you as a bit of a scout. As for this chap, yes, you can also do that same job. You can see over the mountains, which is just lovely. Lots and lots of armies, indeed, their siege has failed. Okay, time to head into Tolan then for a big old, big old boisterous affair. Sword bearer, isn't that just marvellous? And this lad over here. Obviously, the main army is in the city, they're the reinforcements. So they might pull out of this. Um, I'm trying to think which of these armies I'd rather use. This army is interesting because we've got a load of the Zacatecos warriors. So we could have some fun with them. So maybe we'll uh, we'll use those because I I do love to misuse all of the units on this game. So let's have a little clicksy on you, marvelous. How are you doing, my good sir? Very little going on. Basic young general. Yeah, we need to let these reinforcements get into battle so we can lure them out of the city. We'd be able to beat them in the city anyway. He's a womanizer, unfortunately. At that level, that's quite a good one for their morale. But no, not much else. A defender, though, which is something. Only plus one morale, minus two for us with their dread. But yeah, we're okay. We've got ourselves the sword bearer, which will help him in battle. He's got brave. He's a terrible trader, but he likes to kill people. So that will be absolutely grand. Let's head into battle. Well, this is going to be a ridiculously big battle. I somehow suspect we've got our reinforcements over here. I've put him onto a shootout stance. And there are the enemy. Those lads are obviously the main army we need to be taken out. This little force over here. Well, I guess we can start plodding towards them. Leave the Zacatecas Raiders out of it. They might as well stay in a nice hidden position. And we'll wait and see uh, what these lads want to do. We obviously need to take them out in time. Their shootout stance. Ah, okay. They're going to go deal with them. That's fine. Maybe we'll go turn around and deal with the actual army then. That seems interesting. Let's go do that. So you plod off in this direction. Well, I did tell them to go on a shootout stance, but apparently they are just trying to kill them. So that works for me, I suppose. They've mostly gone down. It's just the bodyguard who will cause a couple small problems. But essentially, we need to now focus on the main army. And they are coming in. They're slightly downhill. I say actually quite a bit downhill over here. Hopefully we'll land a few missiles on them very, very soon. Are they going to turn to us? I hope they do. Come on. 
Get involved with us, please, lads. We will just stroll a bit closer to them. See what we can do about all of this nonsense. At this point, we're just going to have to chase them down, I guess. Is that what's going to happen here? I don't really know. Right, you lads, get on top of them. They are way out of position. And I suspect it's a good idea to just get on top of them whilst we have a moment to do so. Can we run, please? Run into position. Um, our main army might start turning around at some point very, very soon. There we go. They're now starting to fight us. Some peasants are going to get into battle. Patchy and Braves, you start doing your lovely, lovely work. Bodyguards get into them. Apache and Braves, you throw into them. I think they're the ones I just told to do something else, but I'm sure it's absolutely fine. And yes, um, whilst we have a break with some of the Zakatekos, most of us are clearing them out. They're still just charging manically towards my reinforcement army. Uh, interesting tactics from these lads. I guess at this point then it's time to just... Just keep chasing them. We're just going to pincer them. They're literally running into a pincer movement. This is bizarre and wonderful in equal measure. Uh, maybe the general can try and cut these guys off. There we are. Another eagle warrior. It's a bit dangerous. But come on, general. Do it anyway. Play the Horn of Destiny. Don't know where he is, but he's somewhere around here. Um, they really don't want to fight us, do they? At this point, they have finally caught up with our lads, which means that we are just going to absolutely destroy them. So yeah, basically, just get these Apachians into the battle, and our archers can just lay all the world's fire on them. Literally, in fact, lay fire on top of their heads. Zekatex Raiders just launch an attack from the side there. Apache and Braves just head into them, into those lads. My general should probably not massively overextend himself. Um, we are going to smash into them, which is a little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous, but we are starting to get on top of all of them, so hopefully our bodyguard won't get himself killed. But he is now getting flanked, which is not a particularly positive situation. Would be a bit stupid to get himself killed, considering um, we have such an advantage in this battle, but we'll see what we can do. All infantry, head into that general, and hopefully take him out. We're down to 15 at this point. A little bit concerning, but I think on the whole we'll be fine. And there we are, that's their general, not mine, I think. He looked more colourful, so probably not our lad. All missiles shoot into those peasants, but the battle is as good as done at this point. Some very strange, strange tactics from the Aztecs there, leading themselves straight into a pincer movement, but I suppose when you look at how many men are lost by the reinforcements, that maybe suggests they had a decent idea, which is take on the non-human player. Nonetheless, the job is done. And with that, Tolent is fairly empty. A few experienced peasants remain, but the two generals both taken out. So we'll merge them up. And you, sir, yeah, you're in much better shape. So you can put them under siege. That'll be absolutely grand. We'll stroll into there next turn. You, sir, you can be my reinforcement arm. Oh, we're now stuck because of that battle. It's a bit irritating. Oh, well. Um, reinforcement army can just plod around, really, stand next to us. If we have the odd few men, there are 12 random men. Ooh, okay. Tenochtitlan is not Aztec anymore. I wasn't aware of that. Very interesting indeed. And does that mean that they've actually conquered more? Yes, they have. Okay, there's actually a chunk of four settlements over here, which are Flax Cannon, which is interesting indeed. Aztecs are not strong as I maybe thought they were. Good news indeed. Well, I'm not sure there's a huge amount more we're going to do this turn. So I'll just make sure I've sorted everything out. And uh, we'll see what the end turn brings us. A simple enough battle at Kurigua then, who I think, yes, will go down fairly simply. The bigger question is if we can hold off against the reinforcements who are soon to come in. So we'll sack that just to give us a tiny bucket of money. Apparently, that was some success. The King of Spain is most impressed. Okay, I've been rewarded with six units of conquistadors. <laughs> this shouldn't be happening. So the game now thinks I am Spain. Do I have them? Yes, I do! I've been giving conquistadors. This episode just gets better and better. Oh, that's amazing. I'll sort out the unit card later. I've been rewarded with conquistadors. This is the best news I've ever seen. Okay, well, I did need some new armies to come and take on this. Oh, I have horses. I've learned how to horse, ladies and gents. This is absolutely astounding i was going to right click on that and ignore that but um amazing so we're just going to get things from the king of spain now 3500 and six units of conquistadors 
wow, that is ridiculously over the top, but I love it. What else can I do? Um, I was just thinking on Rome Total War, you'd uh, get your city to rebel so that the Senate would give you a nice easy mission of retaking the rebel city. That's a great way of uh, of, of winning random prizes off them. Um, and of course, burning down all the all the squalor in the town, which was somewhat a necessity on uh, huge cities on Rome. Nonetheless, nonetheless, over here, we um, probably could have done that by myself, actually, and saved myself a little bit of bother, but I think we'll be okay. Land clearance, palace, dirt roads, dirt roads, please. That would be lovely. And we'll have ourselves just some yeah, spearmen we'll do in the short term. And crossbow militia, likewise. Yeah, there's a few units, the Spanish ones, that I'm getting that the game doesn't like to process exist. Conquistadors is a particularly odd one, but um, yeah, in general, I can't recruit as the Spanish, as far as I've been able to tell thus far. The only troops I legitimately have are the crossbowmen and the crossbow militia. Um, both of which would be, you know, good fun against these lads, I'm sure, but not quite as fun as the conquistadors. Oh, that's going to be absolutely lovely. I guess I'm guessing these guys are going to be silver surfers, but maybe not as the rebels. I'm not sure. We will see about that. That looks like an intriguing one for um, for one to look out for in the future. What is this reinforcement army, by the way? I'm not sure, but judging by the banner, it must be damaged. So I suspect we'll be absolutely fine. You know what? I'll tell you what, we'll get the peasants as well because it's always good to have extra units on Medieval 2 just to keep towers ticking over. And otherwise, yeah, we are just organising these forces in a way where, yeah, we'll send them off very, very soon. So you go and stand on our gold. We can't really see over the mountains, unfortunately, but you can go do some scouting. Yeah, go the long way around. Whatever. Go for some forces over here at Yaxchilan and... Yeah, we'll head over to whatever this town is in time. More importantly, though, for the time being, we do to head into Tolan. I've got to Tishlan under siege, which uh, hopefully won't see too much uh, reinforcement coming, but it might well do. If it does, we might need to withdraw, but we will see about that. These guys, to be fair, will soon be able to come stroll over here, and I'm sure we can find someone, yeah, these guys, for example, to be a garrison force. So let's head into here. There are some reinforcements hanging out outside the city, so, oh gosh, yeah, the city troops are not good. They're just fairly experienced. These guys actually, yeah, very experienced, but again, damaged, no generals. We should hopefully be fine. Unfortunately, a lot of them did get away at the end of the last battle. In spite of the pincer movement, that is just the way that it goes on this. Now we have conquistadors. Oh, yes, maybe we can chase down one or two. So, let's head into battle and let's take these guys out. Smash, smashy, and down goes the gate. Now, experience tends to count for quite a lot on the wall, but lack of numbers generally counts for more. So hopefully, we'll be on top of them very quickly. Unfortunately, we have the classic issue here where, um, yes, these unpronounceables, unfortunately, the ones given one of my ladders. So I only got one ladder because there aren't very many of them, which now means, yes, we are literally going one by one up into these spear throws, but luckily... They are only spear throwers. So we're just piling on the reinforcements in this general direction. And at this point, what are they doing? Yeah, they're part of us. Eagle Warriors charging in, but that's all they've got. So no need to worry about any of that. Zekatekos, head into these lads. In fact, head into those lads because they look like easier bait. Bait? Yeah, let's go with bait. That's definitely the wrong word, but we'll stick with it anyway. Damn it. On top of those lads, maybe the charge will do something good. It did nothing at all, but maybe they can win. There's 22 against 6, even though they're much superior units. We'll see how that one goes. We're going to lose a lot of men taking this town between these two armies, but we'll uh, we'll have to see how this ends up. Are they going for my reinforcements? Are they going for this gate? I don't know. I mean, I guess they're going for this gate once again. Um, but if they are going for this particular lad over here, well, that works for me. I mean, they are hiding... But, uh, yes. Anyway, if they didn't want to get to the plaza, that's perfectly fine by me. In fact, if they didn't want to get to the plaza, maybe I should just charge into the plaza. That probably sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Yes, indeed it does. Right, let's get everyone, um, well, as many of you as possible. Go and, go and clear those lands off, and you go and deal with them. But in general, to be honest, yeah, let's just charge for the plaza at this point. Let's grab the infantry that's not really that busy. Head into these peasants. Start charging forward, get all the dog soldiers, and in we go. 
I'm just literally sending everyone in in a massive, massive storm of men. Can't be bothered with any tactics at this point because they're not bothering to enter the city. So what's the point of hanging around? Although I wouldn't mind not sending this lad. I did accidentally send him moving. So you can just uh, wander off over there. See if that distracts them for much longer. But yeah, if we can just get on top of this plaza early enough, then we can just win this. Um, all infantry into them. All of you. Yeah, that's it. We've got the timer ticking down. That's absolutely marvellous. Which hopefully means that we can just uh, win the battle and then get ourselves a favourable position to take on these guys if they ever do want to take us on. Um, we can just quit whenever we fancy. Convenient timing for that death there. Yes, indeed. They're now by that gate. Are they ever going to enter it? It looks like they aren't going to whatsoever. Okay, well, let's not worry about any of that. You chaps, also head to the plaza. We'll, uh, we'll claim victory. Um, but maybe we'll come and see if they want to go kill themselves first. And with that, we've got ourselves a new city, a big bucket of money. And indeed, we should probably start strolling off to the next city. Some of the reinforcements managed to stroll off in that direction. But no worry, we'll catch up with them in time. Indeed, I'd say the time is about now, actually. Um, not sure that's quite enough to actually take a city. We'll see, Cody Priest can be fairly mean. But there's a big pile of reinforcements sitting here and over here as well. So, nice pile of archers to sit as a garrison. And the rest of you can come join us in this battle over here. A gift from the consulate once again. Oh, this is delicious. The Spanish consulate has built you a place to train your gunpowder troops. Where is this? In Havana. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm a bit too incompetent to manage to do that. But hey ho, at least it's a gift. We'll um, it'll have to be like one of those gifts that we we uh, subtly get out every time they come round to visit the house. But otherwise, we. Uh, we lock away in a cupboard. Okay, and uh, likewise, as you may have noticed, outside to the Tishlan, yeah, the reinforcements are here, so not a lot I can really do right this second about that. There's probably a bit too much of them. So what we need to do is gather us a second army to act as our, yes, as our kind of a reinforcement buffer. Now, you, my good sir, your job was to deal with this town over here. So let's stroll into here. Clear victory. I'm glad that was a clear victory. We might have lost that if I was <laughs> unlucky. Um, but uh, no, we're all good. We'll take up this guy. Oh. Well. Well, that was a surprise. <laughs> Someone just... Ashkook, after all of that, Ashkook dies. This is what happens, you see. You <laughs> get over confidence of the rebels for half a second. Or to resolve a battle that you should definitely win. And nope, that's it. You've lost. Right, time for revenge. In we head against this lad over here. And I suppose then you can act as the uh, garrison force for the town. Let's head in. This battle feels like one we'd have right at the start of this campaign. The sort of battle that I had no idea how to win and would pretty much get slaughtered with every time. However, we now know what to do. Number one, these are Eagle Warriors. They don't have shields, do they? No, they don't. And that seems fairly evident right now. And we know the way to win this is to use guard mode and we'll start getting a bit of flanking with our missiles, as is the way I'm medieval too. So we're going to go and do that. We will just hold them in position as we shoot them from behind. Isn't that absolutely marvellous? So you go shoot him. In fact, you go shoot him. You have a slightly nicer angle at all of that old jazz. And indeed, we'll shoot into these lads. So that should pretty much be the battle right about there. You guys, honestly... Actually, just all of you just shoot into that chap, and we'll just slightly spread our missiles. Take him out. Yes, he lies dead, and I press pause at that exact moment just for the best screenshot in history. I'll screenshot it merely because I have no choice. I'm now stuck pressing pause at the P button just endlessly. Oh, dear. I must say, there are some spectacular shots in the middle of this very, very... Very painfully slow little movement here. That guy actually survived the hit. Well done, Steve. Well done indeed. Uh, that's their dude, though, not my dude. I'm guessing by the shield. Is it? Who knows? No, that is my dude. Well done, Steve. He survived our own arrow. One day, though. There we go. Uh, I wouldn't quite say that's a bug, but it's not particularly ideal, is it? Okay. Um, in fact, just all go in hands, hand to hand combat at this point, honestly. We'll finish off the Eagle Warriors that way. And get vengeance for the lad that I just murdered for no particular good reason, with the classic death of water resolve. 
And with that then we have sort of avenged the needless death of our good old friend of the Apaches. Anyhow, I think it was one of the Apache ones anyway. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. Anyhow, some of these experienced warriors are heading down this direction. We did get a little poke and I didn't really want to get caught out. So we're just gathering as many of our forces as possible to join us in this part of the world. Look at that. We've got a load of troops, but um, not really any generals to guide them. So we'll, we'll see about that in time. Yeah, we should probably have enough to go and deal with that now. So a few end of term reports. A, yeah, convert to our cause with a few Jaguars. You know what? Every little helps will take you along, my good sir. We can probably get rid of some trash unit. Yes, just get rid of some trash. Although I wouldn't mind keeping one of those units there. So we'll do that instead. Marvelous. Grab ourselves a watchtower. Not sure it's quite time to head over there just yet. But we are getting into position in several of these Aztec towns at this stage. So we'll just continue to move in that direction. These lads can be poked by a good old Manic. I really could have organised these armies properly. But I have not, so uh, yeah, we'll just send him over here. Ah, yes, of course. Of course, there's an army sort of poking its way through in the distance. So we'll get ourselves some coyote priests and we should be absolutely fine at finishing off all of that nonsense. We have started a bit of a building project around the world. I've just started clicking on everything. I don't know why I left out the uh, big pile of skulls, to be honest. But um, we'll leave the pile of skulls for the time being. Yes, a lot of these towns now do have uh, quite a few things lined up. So we'll just sort out particularly some of the stuff to help with um, public health bonuses. Because some of these places are quite big. Really don't want plague. It's not particularly helpful to anybody. Fine, so Tochlan over there is under siege. This lad over here is, well, he's not bothered to attack, and now I suspect it's too late. Unfortunate for you, I suppose. So, yes, I'll send my lads over towards T-Count. We've got this taken care of. Um, I'm a little bit unsure what's over in this part of the map, actually. So that's Totopec. Is that the same region? It is indeed. So that, is that pretty much all of this? I'm missing... Yes, I'm missing whatever this region is here in the middle. Um, not part of the world I know particularly well. Okay, it's just still a little bit hanging around in this part of the world. As for the French, yeah, they've um, they've decided to run past all of my very, very, very well guarded cities. So I think I'm going to send my army over towards Alabama, and indeed some of these chaps can go and reinforce the Choctaw camp. I do have plenty and plenty more troops, but that's besides a moving in this direction. So we should be fine to defend from the French anyway, but it would be nice if they would actually engage us occasionally. I would like to very much murder them all, but hey ho, you can't have everything, I suppose. I'm pretty certain though, they do have a second landing over around New Orleans at some point. So yeah, I could do, I'm very much trying to keep an army on this border for that eventuality. Still, as you can see, men plodding off in that direction pretty much permanently at this point. And yeah, with all the extra money we've just got the last few turns. Oh, we are on that little roller coaster now where we just start to slaughter absolutely everyone and everything. So, not quite sure. Hmm, haven't really got any options over here. That's not great. We'll get the great ball court. We like to have a little game here or there. And yeah, yeah, more. Oh, yes, Conquistadors. That's what we wanted. I knew there was something exciting going on. Conquistadors have arrived at Dolan. That's what we want to see. So maybe next time, ladies and gents, we will see the Conquistadors rolled out in the battle over here because next turn they'll be able to join us. These guys can sit as a garrison for the time being. They're an, they're an sufficient garrison for, you know, a fairly standard kind of attack. We've seen them do good jobs defending the cities. But, um, oh yeah, they can be a lot, a lot of good fun soon to be had with those conquistadors and we'll see if we can tease some more missions out of the uh the spanish embassy who still seem to think that we exist presumably they just haven't got the news that the spanish have um um all rebelled at this point we're just forging the letters very very convincingly indeed but i can go and send my troops over here from havana they might as well get on the boat and oh yeah there are lovely little islands down here Yes, they might as well come and join us over here in the town of Tequila, as far as I'm concerned. 
But uh, perhaps next time you will join me for all of that madness because I think we're going to see a couple of interesting battles now. We've got some tasty new units. But the end does feel like it's nigh. But there is, of course, the French and the English still yet to deal with. But I think, I think things are starting to turn very, very much in our direction. So uh, I hope you'll join me for all of that. This um, this episode obviously a bit delayed because of the Rome video. Um, obviously that one took a huge amount of effort. This is still come out on the Friday. There will be a new episode of this on Monday. It will be back to that Monday slot and occasional, probably alternative Fridays um, until we finish off this series and begin a new one. So there's only a few interesting things coming up today, um, particularly with, well, the game seeming to think that I'm now Spain, but hey-ho. Um, yes, I forgot. It feels like a long time ago that the Spanish were murdered at the start. We've now um, we've now picked up their conquistadors and are on our way to roll over to Natish land. So I will leave you for now. I'm Thomas. This is to the Human. This has been our Medieval 2 American Rebels campaign. Thank you and bye-bye. Today we're going to go for particularly aggressive diplomacy. Oh, oh yes, it worked. Kablamo! <laughs> you are always going to die, Steve. Oh, my feudal knights! My crispy, crispy feudal knights. The ram's burning. <laughs> right in the death.